Hello and welcome back to my Frappe ERP Next application development tutorial. My name is Anthony Emmanuel. Um, this time I'm here to show you um, an admin LTE based on Vue.js framework. There are instances where you would need to deploy a web portal for your Frappe apps, but sometimes it's really important to host it outside of the environment. You may want a complete separation between the server hosting the data and the access points for that i've actually worked on this admin lte based on view framework with the necessary access to frappe apis um first off um before the demonstration i have the demonstration here to show you but we're going to um first explain what is required to run this application. First off, it is based on Vue.js version three. Um, it's very simple to use, Vue.js. Then um, the admin LTE version three dashboard, admin dashboard, and the Frappe framework itself, the Frappe framework. So these three has been, you know, worked together to produce the admin dashboard and I call the admin dashboard the Frappe View Admin LTE. You can get it from this link and try to run it. The installation information is clearly stated here. You can read through it and be able to set it up. And also it depends on an application, the Frappe application called Frappe Oats. It's just a very simple application that you install, then add this to allow calls to your site's configuration. First, we can have a demonstration of how it works. First off, we have this instance, okay, not here. Okay, we have the login environment. The authentication has already been automatically set up. You don't need to, and it works with JSON um, token, token-based authentication. All you have to do is just to log in, and from there on, the site will keep working with token. Just as explained in Frappe framework, you have the authentication, token-based authentication. Okay, I'm gonna log in. I'm feeding the wrong passwords. And this test is based on a live instance we find here. So I'm feeding in the wrong password. And if the password is wrong, you get a message invalid credential. Or if it is right, you get logged into the system. Okay, we are logged in. You can see the administrator administrator name, the administrator profile image. You can also see that here. That's what this image was retrieved. So every information concerning this admin has been retrieved into the admin LTE dashboards. We go to the profile. You can always edit it to add the necessary information. So the routing is completely vrouting. There is no reload. But what I really worked on here is the fetching Frappe doc types. The doc types fetching is inbuilt by default into this Frappe admin. So we have this, for example, we have this sales invoice. We have 351 sales invoice. Here is a kind of, is a duplicated data. So you mostly say the amount is the same. So the invoice on its own. I click on my invoices. Um, this is a reusable component that can be used for any of your doc type. Um, it fetch the complete, or you can specify it based on the explanation how, uh, based on this, you don't need to rewrite any of this already built into this admin So I'm gonna open any of them. Um, this 351, you get the detail of the items in it. You can also check that from the sales invoice in Frappe 351. You see that 
uh, here with the total ground total that is exactly what we have here you can always edit this component to suit your needs the same right here. then another important thing is that you can actually get the print the print formats just like you have it oh. I already have the API for getting the print format inbuilt into the Frappy Admin LTE. You get this exactly. So you can try to get the print format, generate PDF, and it just brings the print format for you. You can see there is no difference between what you have here and what you have in the ERP next. It automatically picks the invoice, the print format you have, and you can specify the print format based on what's I have explained in this API. Okay, um, what other feature can okay? There's so much more to that, but let's kind of explore what we have. For the API, we have you can use the Frappy directly using Frappy.get doc. From in this admin LTE, Frappy or get list, new doc, update, delete, and get the PDF inbuilt. Then for the form, like I said earlier, this is a reusable component in the system. You can view that from the source code component called data table. I worked in here. You can reuse it for any of the doc type. You have the views here, the source code, the invoice I worked on so the invoice just pass the data table pass the transactions and it moves in there as a list the detail is what works for the entire item you have this refresh is also reusable it kind of destroys this data table then update it with recent data and also well paginated okay um let's go over it again so you have you can have the you have the get doc get list new doc update doc delete doc get pdf then some um <clears throat> models models the format currency is what was used to format these currencies you have then um this is more like frappy.message print and frappy.true here, uh, pop it, pop error. And that's what was specified earlier during the login where you have invalid credential and login success. Okay, um, we can have a slight demonstration. I'm going to update this admin team. Here we currently have a light team. You can reload it and you see the team is light. And to update it to dark team directly from this view. So you can see how to use this API directly. You can use it inside your component using this. While you're in a, a view component, use this dot frappy. You can also redefine it. Redefine the name as frappy is assigned this dot frappy. I'm gonna go into my <coughs> terminal. Control Shift J. That opens up my test environment. I'm sorry, browser console. I'll close this. You can always use enable the view, the view debugger or the view dev tools. And this gives us access to the main view app. Go back to my console. You can access the view using dollar VM. That gives you the view instance. I'm going to assign the frappe itself. Frappe is assigned dollar vm dot proxy dot dollar proxy yeah, dot frappe. Okay, so we have to re redefine that, um, not redefine, reset the view console. 
have to access that directly. Okay. okay, with that, we've gotten the Frappe instance. You can use that Frappe to update administrator. Okay. User is assigned Frappe.get doc. User and the name of the document, administrator. Okay. It's an await, it's async await. Prompts user is assigned await. Okay, once it is ready, you can see the results has been fetched. This is the complete information about the administrator. And also record that this API obeys the complete Frappe rules and, rules and permission. So it does not matter who is accessing. Frappe itself will automatically execute the rules and permission based on the user who is authenticated. Okay, um, the admin, this admin cannot be accessed by a user that does not have the role to access this admin. If you do that from here, you would not get this data back. You will get the restriction, either the 401 or unauthorized. Okay, and here we have user dot data dot dex team is light. How about changing this dex team to dark? Then we can update the admin. It's update the sign property dot updates. Yeah, update doc, the doc type, the doc name, and the data the body also requires an await a sync await function this should update right updated and we got data back so you can check to know you see the dark has kept on we can refresh this to see if it worked Now you see the admin <clears throat> team is already dark because our API updated the admin instance. You can also see the lockdown here. Administrator, um, yeah, updated. Administrator chain value of Dex team from light to dark just now. Can always access the Frappy dot, just like we referenced in the API, the get doc, get list, new doc, update doc. We can try the get list here to see what we get. Invoices, copy awaits, copy dot get lists, sales invoice. See that by default it returns 20 as stated in the API in listing documents. Somewhere in the API, it's default to 20. Then you can pass any of this filter to it. You can pass all this kind of filter as you want. You can see um here is where it was used in invoices. I see that this is a rapid or get list, the doc type sales invoice. Then if you are to pass a field type, becomes the second parameter. Pass this field is assigned. Here are the fields I retrieved. You can see the fields name, title, status, grand total, modified. You can always pass your filters as you like, and that will retrieve the system. If there's an issue, you get the error. 
message if it's correct this gets pushed into the data table okay that just is for the now you can always read through the documentation on how to it's just it's almost 100 percent javascript okay and um, one other thing to install it all you have to do is get this download this this repository then you have there's a particular file you have to configure and the file is this okay. app config dot app dot, dot app config dot json stated in the description on how to install it to add your json you can open it um it is not secure to so just pass the name of the url directly you can use the process dot environment to pass the value here. This is a Frappy authentication app, except you have your own custom authentication app that works, but you have to install this authentication app for the first login. That's what works on the login. So then this specify your Frappy or ERP next instance. You save that. Um, from there, the Frappy view admin will kick in. For these other components, you can always get the download you can always download this and get the components and use it directly just as view components and views works so you have this works exactly with view router and views okay thank you i hope you kind of understand what went on here if you have difficulty in understanding you can still drop a message and we're glad to respond to you <clears throat> and also if you have um other questions to ask, you can always drop me a chat on my website at cross.com. You can always drop me a chat on my website from this live chat to drop me a message i'll be glad to respond to you so thanks for checking up and hope you really do enjoy it please like and subscribe to my channel there's more video coming that will really help your frappe and erp next application development journey thank you